All right, Star Wars fans, time to watch a classic here. William Shatner's Kingdom of the Spiders. Let's check it out. Film starts with a shot from the spider cam. William Shatner plays Rack Hansen. Steer we saw get bit before. Walter Colby's steer. Looks like she's walking to a hornet's nest. This place has a spider problem. God almighty! Oh God. So they call in an expert. <laughs> Diane Ashley, played by <laughs> Tiffany Bowling. It's all right. I'm Diane Ashley. Is that right? Well, the room's here at nine bucks a night, and the cabin's over eleven. Sorry, you have a very serious problem on your hands. Why don't you tell me how serious a problem? Does that mean we'll have a quarantine? No, at least not from... That's the mayor. So while Diane takes a shower, Spider makes a new home in her room. Walter Colby's dog Jake has also been bitten by those spiders. It would appear this one died the same way the cat did. Well, I guess the next step is to destroy my stock. Mr. Colby shows him a spider hill on his property. Were. Brother's dead. Isn't that like buying the cow and giving the milk away? You don't quit pastoring me. One of these mornings, I'm going to show up and start milking that cow. To survive, spiders, as well as other insects, are having to readjust their eating habits and therefore becoming much more aggressive. I'll get rid of them. Looks like a romance is brewing between Rack and Diane. Colby Farm has another dead steer. And there's nothing I can do. Seven years to stay for that bull. Are you all right? Yes, I'll be all right, honey. Let's just go burn down that damn spider hill. So they burn the hill up in flames. But. So he brings Diane over to his sister-in-law's house. And she's of course jealous because now that her husband died in Vietnam, she wants some rack. One of the most memorable scenes I remember from this movie when I was a kid. Woody Strode as Mr. Colby. A while later, Rack and the sheriff find Colby's truck down a ravine. And they also find Colby. He's been webbed. 20 or 30 more hills have been found. In spite of what Diane said, uh, the sheriff hires the Baron to go spray some really strong DDT and other pesticides. The Baron didn't realize, though, is that uh, he's not alone on his flight. Is having her issues. She even shoots off her finger. Rack's sister in law is about to succumb to the spiders. 
Brack comes out there to pick up Linda, but uh, Mom is already dead. They're all holed up the lodge now. in this area. So far, only the tarantulas have organized themselves into an aggressive army. And they've already killed off Colby and Linda's mother. The bodies start piling up now. Dropping from the ceiling. Poor little Linda. If you watch the police car tires, you'll see that some spiders did get hurt in the filming of this movie. themselves in now, boarding up the walls and doors. But the spiders are shorting out the power. Watch the window behind you, Kurt. Sun rises the next day, Iraq is okay. But he doesn't like what he sees outside. And I don't blame him, for this town has been webbed. So much for the county fair. All right, let's talk about the movie Kingdom of the Spiders. Uh, it's a classic, if you ask me. Came out in 1977, starring William Shatner. This is a movie that I used to see on like late night television, not like cable, but like some of the local channels. They would show this movie uh, like on their Friday night horror movie night or whatever, Saturday night, whatever. And that's where I kind of saw this movie. That's where a lot of people saw this movie. Eventually, I, I rented this movie. It was uh, I rented it from a place called Lloyd's Video. It was like a like a Radio Shack type place in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Rented it there. Um, I remember the tape because I actually have the tape now, or at least a, a duplicate of the tape. It had a bunch of ads at the end of it, a bunch of trailers for other VCI movies, uh, and it was a really cool ad. Um, it was the first like set of ads I ever taped uh, when I was copying stuff. Anyway, I remember I, when I first taped this movie, I taped it on beta tape. Um, I think Pieces is on that same tape. And uh, as I was got up to put the tape away, I was watching it in the dark uh, on my bed downstairs in my basement room. And I had to turn on my flashlight to look on the floor to make sure there weren't any spiders. So I thought, you know what? If this movie can make me act that way, it's got to be a damn good movie, right? So anyway, what we have here is a bunch of spiders, tarantulas, in this Arizona town near Sedona, Camp Verde, Verde Valley. And um, they're basically rampaging all over the place. They're killing people. Um, I guess they've run out of food sources, so now they're just... Uh, eating cattle and dogs and uh, and killing people too as well. Uh, William Shatner is the local, I think he's not a doctor or he's, he's like a vet um, um, or scientist type guy and he they call in his other scientist uh, from Tempe uh, played by Tiffany Bowling. She's the one who figures out what's going on. Ultimately uh, the climax of this movie is uh, the Shatner, um, Bowling and, and the other survivors are in this uh, lodge and they've uh, kind of crammed themselves in there, locked it in, put uh, uh, you know, board of the windows and everything so the spiders can't get in, although they did get in occasionally. Um, and then the next day they wake up, they look outside, and the entire town is covered in a giant web. And that's how the movie ends. Kind of creepy. Anyway, love, 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 love this movie. I have uh, uh, multiple incantations of this, a uh, couple of DVDs, got it on Blu ray. There's a lot of cool extras. Um, uh, like there's like a making of a little bit. There's some behind the scenes footage. It's really cool. This is a, like I said, it's a classic. It's available now from Code Red. I, I don't know if it's still available. Actually, I got this not maybe about a year ago. It's got a slip cover and everything. I'm sure the Blu-ray is still available in some sort. But um, 
Yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Apparently, they, they had talked about making a sequel years later with Shatner in it again, but it never happened, unfortunately. That's too bad, because that would have been pretty awesome to see. Hell, they could still make it, right? Shatner's still around. So is Tiffany Bowling. In fact, Tiffany Bowling appears uh, at the beginning, a little tiny interview uh, with that banana man guy from uh, Code Red. But anyway, there's all kinds of uh, stuff here. There's commentary by John Bud Cardos, the director, as well. So anyway, that is Kingdom of the Spiders. Again, it's one of my all-time favorites, and I, I love, love, love this film. Um, my schlock brother Jeff uh, this is like one of his all-time favorite films as well incidentally as I um, as I'm recording this right now I'm actually traveling to New Mexico and Arizona uh, two days from now and I'm going to be visiting the lodge where uh, Kingdom of the Spiders the finale was filmed so anyway that's gonna be kind of cool so check it out Kingdom of the Spiders I'm sure a lot of you have seen this movie I'm curious what you think about it leave some comments down below it's a great great film do you disagree you can't disagree it's awesome check it out leave some comments watch it bye